hi, hi. Price is like, hi. He's over there like, oh, hi. Look at me, I'm cute. Aww. But uh, yeah, we're with another episode of Bestocast. Is that where we're at now? Is that where we're at? Is, is it officially Bestocast? I mean, this is only episode six. So I, I guess in four more episodes, if, if we're still at Bestocast in four more episodes, I think it's just going to be Bestocast. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that we have a lot of loot here on the table. Um, I made some special plans with Riley today because I'm like, hey, Riley, I'm going to I'm going to drag your butt to to the Lewisburg flea market and we're going to we're going to see what we can find. And uh, yeah, I didn't think I was going to find that. Yeah, um, but we're going to do we're going to do the so. So this is going to come out roughly the same time as a live -ish episode will come out. So right now we're just going to talk about Lewisburg flea market. And then Liveish will actually look at this stuff in more detail. Lewisburg Flea Market is a flea market that's been there since I was a child. Like, growing up, we've always, every Sunday we've always gone there. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday I've always, um, like I've had a, I've had a, a Ravage knockoff toy from, uh, for, for, for Transformers, came from there. Mm -hmm. And I remember like as soon as we got it, it came out of its package and I'm trying to transform it and like instantly like lose his guns and everything. <laughs> and my grandmother going to me going, uh, I don't know why you waste your money on this crap. It has to come out of its package. Like as soon as you get it, as soon as you get it, you lose everything. And I, I lost like the guns and everything for it. And this was before, like it was a knockoff Ravage, but I didn't even have Soundwave because I never had Soundwave. Uh, at the time I was into baseball because I wasn't even into comics at that point. I was just into baseball and football uh, um, on sports cards. And I would go with, uh, I don't know how to explain this to the audio people, but I, I, it was like this thick. What would be this thick? It'd be like an inch. Hi, Bryce. Maybe two. Uh, probably like about an inch, maybe two inches worth of, of baseball cards. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bryce is in front of the hey, camera. Hey, down Don't, in front. Down in front. Down in front. Uh, I would go with, with those cards that I had, I, I'd have no money. And I would just, I'd bring like the cards that I had extras of or that I didn't really care for. Like maybe it was like Jose Canseco or something. I, I could care less about Jose Canseco. Um, so I would go and I would take a stack, like a stack, an inch's worth of, uh, this is quality television, by the way, to look at the cat's butt. <laughs> and you can't even see your face because the cat's like blocking you. There we go. Uh, yeah, mark yourself on everything. Um, yeah, so go there with no money and just like an inch's worth of, of cards and easily either trade for cards that I wanted mm -hmm. or walk away from the convention with 20 to $50. <laughs> so I like easily, easily when I was a kid would always flip those baseball cards and easily like come back with with a couple extra bucks, which was always outstanding because nowadays I don't consider myself a salesman and I hate doing sales mm. stuff. That's so awkward. <laughs> so just, just to talk to people and just be like, yeah, okay, like uh, this is it. And then them be like, eh. Welcome back. And it was, it's funny, well, back at the time, you could also tell people who were trying to take advantage of a child or some, or, or such, where they're like, oh, well, I'll only give you like $5. And it's like, a, it's like a $20 card. Like I had the price guides when I was a child. I, I knew all that stuff going in. How about you come back here? Hey, oh, he's gone. Okay, bye. Fine, bye. Fine, Goodbye. fine. Um, so yeah, so it was kind of like, you know, you kind of knew, like I, I would know, what vendors to deal with and what vendors. I, and I even pointed out when this, the, the one vendor we walked by, I'm like, this vendor has always been here mm -hmm. since I was a child. And I'm like, I've sold, sold a lot of cards to this guy. <laughs> From sports cards, I went to the collectible cards, uh, the Marvel cards. And the Marvel set used to have uh, images of comics. So that's where I found out about like Incredible Hulk 181 mm -hmm. and Wolverine, uh, Wolverine number one, the limited series, which is to date my favorite color. C color? My favorite color. cover. Uh, it's the one with his mask down. He's got his claws pop, pop, popped. I can't speak, I swear. Uh, he has his claws popped in one hand. He has his hood down. He has the, 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 uh, you okay there? Can, can you hand you your water? Yep. He had the, uh, the, the, the hair slicked back. Yeah, and then he had the claws out. And then he's like, you know, he's, he's like, come, come on, not yet. Come on, bring it. Um, and according to that card, I want to say that card said it was like 20 and like somewhere in the ballpark of 20 to $50 or whatever. 
uh, which is which is weird to put a price of a, of a comic on the back of a collector's card, yeah. considering that you know it would never hold that value. It'd either become either more or less. Mm -hmm. And I love that I love that card. I love that cover. And there was a comic book stand that was selling that that book. And it was fifteen dollars, and I'm like, oh, I know that this is a deal according to this card. It's, you know, it was either a lot more, and I had to borrow the money from my grandmother. And uh, yeah, she reminded me every day that I owed her every single penny of that comic book, and I proudly paid for that comic book. And that's actually like that's what launched my comic book collection. That launched my Wolverine collection right before I went to college we went to the flea market. And there was Incredible Hulk 181, which is the first appearance of Wolverine, and Giant Size X-Men number one, which is also considered the first appearance. Because they, they, I think they came out really close together. Mm -hmm. So they're both considered like the first appearance of Wolverine. Or one might be like, one might be a little bit ahead of it. So one might be like the first appearance and this one might be the second. I, I don't know which is which. I mean, like technically first, but maybe also first. I think technically first is Incredible Hulk 181. Mm -hmm. And then I think Giant Size X-Men came out afterwards, which I, which would make it a second appearance. I know, buddy. Uh, it's just, but... it's like the, uh, it's like the black suit Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. There are actually two issues that came out at the same time, and it's supposed to be like Secret Wars, whatever the issue is that he has, he's wearing the black suit, is supposed to be the official one, but there's another one that's in-universe that was supposed to come out, and I think it came out like just ahead of it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just, it's one of those anomalies where it's like they're both the first adi first appearance. But uh, yeah, the guy had uh, uh, X Giant Size X-Men number one and, and Incredible Hulk 181, and uh, at the time, it was like three hundred dollars for both of them, and it should have been like, like from what I knew, that they should have been like three hundred for just one, three hundred a piece for just one, mm -hmm. and it was three hundred for both of them. And and my mom, your Grammy, bought them for me, and we're like, you can't have them until you ha until you till you earn like Dean's List or honor roll at least once. Um, I fell out, failed out of that college, so <laughs> I didn't have that comic book. I earned those comic books like years later. I actually, I graduated. I graduated with honors my second time I went to college, and I'm like, all right, I graduated with honors. I was like dean's list the whole time I went here. I earned these books. These yeah. books are mine. She's like, go ahead, take them. They're yours. Uh, so the, like, that's those are the three highlights of my collection, and all three of them came from the Lewisburg flea market, <laughs> which is the the, the funny thing. Uh, so they're they're uh, and they're 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 all like I just recently, recently as in like maybe three four years ago, is encased them in plastic. I, I actually sent them to, to be graded. They're not high grade. They're really low grade. And I, I know a lot, a lot of people are like, well, that's reader quality and stuff like that. But I'm like, I kind of got them graded because what they meant to me was a little bit different than a normal collector that I, I, I had earned those things. I mean, I just gave you all the uh, the the whole backstory of yeah. like Lewis Flea Market. And we're almost out of time for the first segment <laughs> that we may as well just come back and talk about our actual experience at the flea market. Because it wasn't just the flea market. We did the flea market. We did the consignment store that's up by the flea market. We did, of course, Walmart. And, and we did, of course, uh, uh, GameStop. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we did. And then we did the, the consignment shops where it's like we went in at 1 o'clock and it's like, what time is it? Four? <laughs> <laughs> Which is a, a, a lot of detail. But uh, let's go out to commercial break and uh, we'll come back and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more. I pretty much manhandled the uh, first segment. So now that I talked about my experience when I was pretty much probably about your age, maybe younger, how about how about how about your experience? Now I know you've probably have been to the Lewisburg flea market before, but as a child. So yes, your new newish experience. Besides, oh look, there's a carnival. Yeah, have... there was a carnival. We didn't go to it, but there was a carnival. It was cute. It was funny. Mm -hmm. Like we didn't know it was gonna be there, and I was like, "Why is there like, a Ferris wheel?" Like, look, a Ferris Why? wheel, funnel cakes, just all this stuff. And they weren't even open when we got there. Yeah. <laughs> they opened up by the time we left. Mm -hmm. But 
Uh, I'm assuming that we live in an area where the Bloomsburg Fair is a big deal and there was no Bloomberg, Bloomsburg Fair last year. So I'm assuming that this must be the the way that they were making it, the, making it up because I don't know if they're always there every year. Yeah. Uh, I was actually surprised taking you uh, because it was like two years ago that I went. And it was, there was like nothing, there was barely any vendors. There's just the, there's the consignment shop that's in the flea market. Mm -hmm. but there was like next to nothing in there. And when we went there, it was packed. There was, yeah, a, lot there of, was a lot of people. There was stuff outside, stuff a lot of people and... inside. Yeah. Uh, Cause I was like, oh, I, 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 I saved money specifically to go there. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna get anything. Cause you know, last time we went there, there was nothing there. And it's like, no, I got stuff. Some of the stuff came from the consignment shop though too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, the one thing I know we're, we're waiting for the video, the uh, liveish video, but a, 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 a original Bib Fortuna. I didn't need a Bib Fortuna. I'm sure that there is an original, you know, 70s Bib Fortuna in this house somewhere. He's missing his coat that he should have on. But I'm like, I need this to complete a joke that we started on the Sleepless Nights podcast. And now we have an official Bib Fortuna. Maybe he has to sit with Stan Lee, mm -hmm. like from here on out. And Stan Lee has a chair, by the way, now too, but the chair is too big for just Stan Lee. So now we have Luke Skywalker. Yeah, Luke's, Luke's, Luke's reading Stan Lee a story. <laughs> now Bib Fortuna's on his. Uh, but anyway, what's your experience for the first, first time that you went to all these things, actually? I thought it was like a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of people and their room. Mm -hmm. crazy. We didn't really haggle with too many people. We had some nice people. I had that one guy who wanted to sell you a wolf and stuff. Yeah. And I bought like I bought the like I didn't need that child's book, X Men book, but he was like super nice and was yeah. like, oh, you know, he's oh, that's a dollar. Take it, take, take, yeah. take the dollar. I mean, there's only one panel of Wolverine in it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the the wedding, the wedding of, of Jean Grey and, and Scott Summers, but it's like, mm -hmm. I don't. It's a kid's book. I don't really need it, but yeah, it's a dollar. A dollar. You I, can't I'll, really. I'll give you the dollar. Yeah. And uh, uh, you know, I didn't. And then this was a big deal. They gave me a huge deal on it. It was oh, like, yeah. oh, I, all right, you're sold. I, you don't have to upsell me. I'll, I'll just take that. Oh, that's fine. Because mm -hmm. even on, it has the price tag on the back. Knowing it's a Disney Store exclusive, but it has a price tag on the back. And it's like a third of the oh, price yeah. tag. And I'm like, yeah, this isn't in print anymore. Yeah. You have to go to the Disney Store. If you too find it, yeah, you get mm -hmm. sold. And then you, you wanted to go back for, you found a record. Oh, there was a, okay. All right, okay. This was so disappointing, but it was like kind of funny. Yeah, because you're like, well, well, like well, we're gonna finish this area, but I'm going back for that. And yeah, you just kept reminding yourself so every five high. seconds. I have a really bad memory. So in order for things to stay in my memory for like long enough, I have to keep constantly reminding myself that I'm gonna go back and like do things. So there was this record and I like having, I don't have a record player yet. Yeah. <laughs> but. I like having records to hang them up on my wall or like put a nail in the wall and then I'll just like hang it up through the little mm. hole that's in the middle of them mm. and they'll just sit on my wall. But there, it was Grease, it was a Grease soundtrack vinyl mm -hmm. and Grease is my favorite musical. Yeah. And it's the uh, Olivia Newton-John, uh, mm. uh, John Travolta, mm -hmm. Grease. I think it's like John Travolta, he was on Grease Lightning, yeah. one of the cars in the cover. Yeah. And you know, we were, we were wrapping up from the consignment shop and I'm like, let's go back, let's go yeah. back and pick it up. And before she goes to purchase, I'm like, do me do one thing before you before check, you purchase. I'm like, check the record. I'm like, check the record, pull the record out of the sleeve. Yeah. And it was like Thomas something or other. Really? It was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh come on. And I'm like, you know, I, I don't like I usually don't like talking price points, but they wanted five dollars and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you gotta look at it this way. You're paying five, five. I mean, five dollars for the yeah. album cover, and you're not actually getting the album. Is that really worth it to you, or yeah. do you want to wait and look around? In all honesty, it probably wouldn't have been that bad since it would have been hanging up on it's, my wall. Anyways, to you, to you, it's art. So yeah, yeah you're, you're paying for so you're paying for the the the, the, the album cover. But I think I yeah, I, I think I'd prefer to have a the actual grease vinyl oh, yeah. hanging on my wall too. I mean, you have no way of checking the, they, they could be like <laughs> scratched to hell and everything else. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I'd rather, if you were per if you were spending $5, I'd rather you had mm -hmm. the actual album, the right album instead yeah. of the so cover. Like, even when I someday do get 
a record player, then I can still have it <laughs> to play. Well, there is a side note to the, the thing because there was a lot of vendors that were actually selling oh, yeah. vinyl. That, that, that must be the in thing. That's the, yeah. that's the thing that you kids must be into. <laughs> there's so many, there's so many like indie kids uh, who just like have vinyls to hang them up on their walls. Like that's everyone. Not everyone, but like a lot of people just have vinyls just to have them on their walls. Mm. They like they look nice. Like I have a whole bunch of CDs on my walls too, and they look nice mm -hmm. on the walls. So <laughs> CDs are like <laughs> they're they're not like I know. proper CDs. I know. I just I'm just laughing at the whole thought of they're... like CDs being <laughs> old old tech nowadays. Like <laughs> they're like they're not like movies or anything. They were just from when I got my guitar, mm -hmm. the little thing that came with it that was like the learn how to play these songs. Mm -hmm. And then it was just like all the music and stuff. And I hung, hung those on my wall because I don't use them. I don't right, them. right. But I still have a whole bunch. Like I have a little stack of my favorite movies and like TV shows and stuff on my dresser mm -hmm. that has all the CDs in it that I still watch. Mm -hmm. But there's a side story where the, the one booth that we went through mm -hmm. had like a ton oh, of vinyl. Yeah, that was a lot. To the to it had he had so much vinyl to the degree like stacked up the ceiling. We're, we're like I don't want to dig around for like this one thing that he most likely yeah. might not have. And right before we left, I'm like I don't, I'm just gonna because he's gonna know before more than we do. Like we just kind of browse through. He had stuff hanging on the wall, and I was like kind of like enjoying the Molly Hatchet records that had the Frank Rosetta artwork on it and everything. Mm -hmm. And like you know that as far as like. Art, you know, because yeah. I, I have no intentions of ever playing vinyl. I like that as art is actually really cool, really cool thing to have. And so when we, we finally gave up and went to leave, and I'm like, well, let's let's go. Well, he's he's trying to upsell us. Mm -hmm. He was giving us all this stuff and like, oh, if you buy this, you know, you get like he does some sort of conversion that you would have a digital version or a mm -hmm. CD or something of it or whatever. And it's like, yeah, I you know. I, we're more looking at the collector aspect than, than actually yeah. listening to it. I mean, you can just pet, rip an MP3 of that. Mm -hmm. um, but I asked him and he's like, oh yeah, come back next week. I have that one. Yeah. So we were like, oh, I don't know if he'll remember. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go all the way back to Lewisburg yeah. <laughs> just, just for, for the thing. Maybe, maybe. Because, I mean, I was surprised. Like, we went to all the consignment shops and they, they it was like two, three, four, five, six booths that had mm -hmm. and, we spent quite a bit of time going through a lot of the a lot of the booths. Yeah, there was a lot of. We're gonna go to yet another consignment to shop after this, but the mm -hmm. one in between. So the third third was there a third shot stop. It was actually kind of our because it was the flea market, the first consignment shop, Walmart, GameStop, and then we ate, mm -hmm. and then yeah. we went to the second the, the last one. So that's like the fifth stop. Yeah. And then we were gonna make a sixth stop at another consignment shop and then a toy sh toy shop which the toy shop is closed and i'm kind of glad we axed the one consignment shop because oh we went God. in yeah. and it's like it was one o'clock when we went in it's like four o'clock and there was like was still one. there was still stuff to look at yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember when i checked the time but we had we had been in there like we were in there when i checked the time and then Next thing I know, you're like, oh, what time is it? I'm like, it's four. Four. Like, it's like, we still got to record a podcast and yeah. another video. And, I, and I'm kind of getting tired and I'm going to do school tomorrow. Yeah. And I'm going to get, I got to wind down. Yeah. Worn out and stuff. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like, oh, there's an upstairs. Oh, there's a mid ground. Oh, oh there's a, a basement. basement. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, I knew how big, is, big the shop is, but I usually like, I, I've been in it once or twice before, and it's like, oh, I know where all the, the stuff that I would be into. So mm -hmm. I just zip, 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 go right to where I want to. And all those places, it's been years since I've been there. Mm -hmm. So all those places had moved or, or no, not existing anymore or whatever. And it's her first time. So it's like, oh, we'll just browse and like look at things. And it's like, you know, they had Skylanders, God. like Skylanders behind glass. That's what I couldn't figure. It's like, this stuff is behind, this is locked behind glass. They had like candy bars from like, who knows who how knows? long. Like 50% off. They were 99 cents. They were like, it was like marked down too. Like the little, the little tag, it said, now, 99 cents, and we were, we were there like, how long? How long has it been here? Because it's locked behind glass, <laughs> yeah. so it's not like you can just walk up and pick it and go yeah. to the register. And that, like... that specific one was like, you could rent out 
the little booths, booths yeah. and then you don't have to be there yeah. with your stuff. Like they keep track of the yeah. sales. Yeah, because everything had initials yeah. on it. So how long has it been since those people <laughs> have been there? Right. How long has it ever been checked? And <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. They had a whole, like they had a ton of cool stuff. And when like when we say it's huge, it was Huge, huge. Should we talk about your good deed that you had to do before we before we left? You're like, here, you gotta hold my stuff. I gotta, I gotta do something here real quick. There was this booth, and they had like a whole bunch of succulents, and I, I like, I really like plants, and I felt kind of bad because like they didn't get any sun. They were just in this little tiny, little place, but they, they were fine. They were okay. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was like. Looking at all the plants, I aren't was like, the hi, things, little like, baby. Aren't they the things that kind of look need like kind of minimal? Yeah. You don't really need to do a whole yeah. hell of a lot. You just gotta water them. I have, I have some, and they're thriving. Like yeah. I keep them in my window. Give them to your dad and they'll die within my, five <laughs> seconds. I'll just. My window only gets sunlight at the end of the day. Mm. And they are still, they're thriving. Mm -hmm. But I was like going through, I was looking at all these little succulents. I was like, hi babies. And I was like, oh, your soil's dry. It's all dry. And then I was like, and I was walking out and I was like, oh wait, they got a watering can. <laughs> that was filled with water. And it had water in it. And it says do not sell on it. It's like not for <laughs> sale. Like somebody's gonna buy a full watering can. Yeah. And I turned, I turned to him and I was like, do you think they'd like be mad if I just like watered their plants right now? <laughs> and then I went through and I just watered all of them. I have a feeling that they may have been the booth like right next to us. They probably like do it at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. They probably go in there and like, go through the why is this all wet? Why did... <laughs> probably thought somebody probably spit in every single one of them. <laughs> I like plants too much. I felt bad. They were... They were okay. They were tiny, tiny mm. little baby succulents. I like the, they had like the group, the group pots and he's in all, he's like, oh he's God, like, yeah, like he's this really... and then they have like the, 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 the pot is open and you can put the plants on the top of his head. But then it looks weird that he has like succulents and cactus yeah. <laughs> coming out of the top of his head. Like, oh, that's not right. <laughs> it should be flowers. Yeah. <laughs> we're maybe like three fourths of the way yeah. through, through the basement and there's just still aisles. And it's like, he get in the, he just get in these like little mazes until it, until there's a dead end and, and you work your way back. Around. And it's just like, you're like, dad, I gotta, let, let's, I, we gotta take a bathroom break and stuff. So we went up. It's like we've been here for like two hours already. I gotta pee. We went up and uh, th there's like a register and they had like a, th it's actually nice they had a table where you could leave your stuff. Cause I'm like, I, I had some breakable stuff. And considering yeah. what happened with Riley the day before, I didn't want to have <laughs> breakable stuff. May or may not have accidentally <laughs> drop kicked a plant pot and down the aisle. <laughs> But they had a table that could hold mm -hmm. your your stuff, and we we, we 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 did our duty. We dropped our dropped our uh, dropped the. Um, uh, I, I can't find any proper term that I could say, so I'm going to move on. And we got down. We got back down to where we picked up where we left off. And you're like, it's four o'clock. It's something like that, or something. <laughs> like that. It may have even been three o'clock at that time. And it's just like. All right, we just gotta double time this. It's like, you know, if you see something, stop, look at it. Otherwise, he's in such a brrrr. And then there was like a mid floor. So there's a basement and then we had to go up and then there was still a floor between yeah. that and the other the other floor. And we just, brrr, we ran around that. Like there was one that had a, had a uh, the comic book. So it was like, I'm quickly going through the comic books and you're going through the other aisle. And then you go around the other aisle and then there's like an entire room for, a room oh, of records, of vinyl. Records. And you're like, Son of a bitch! Yeah. <laughs> we, like, we like started looking through them all and I was like, you know what? No, this isn't worth yeah. it. Like, well, I'm just giving through because I'm like, all right, like there's piles and it's like, oh, it's it's, it's classical music and it's Bach and it's, you know, and, and I'm like, if it's classical music and stuff, if we're lucky and they have them sorted by error, like like when I was sorting through, looking through them and I'm like, oh, here's something that's Olivia Newton-John. Well, mm -hmm. you know, she's in Greece. Uh, maybe maybe we'll luck out with this pile, or if, we, if I see something that was a movie soundtrack, because yeah. I saw like the the soundtrack to Amadeus, which is a which is a movie, or uh, uh, even like I was like what Journey, like I was pulling things with like oh Journey, mm -hmm. and uh, what was what was there was a couple things that I picked out. What was the Christmas one that I picked out? There was a Christmas that was at the flea market though, and like oh you have oh, to a bunch of like Jesus <laughs> Jesus Christmas yeah but there was, no but it, it was like it was like Juan's Christmas or something like that, and he's wearing like the Mexican. <laughs> hat and he's got he's playing a trumpet and he has like christmas bells and like you need this matter of fact 
You need a second one. <laughs> Drop like another one out. Uh, but I was like trying to find things that were like around that era yeah. versus like stuff. Cause if anything was pre that era or post that era, I'm like, mm, you may, might not be yeah. able to find it. And just not like, I wouldn't waste my time looking mm -hmm. um, because there was stuff like, like old stuff, old, old stuff, like Christmas music. Well, there, yeah, that's the other thing. There was stacks of Christmas music stuff. I'm like, if it's Christmas, skip it. Yeah. Um, because I have like, old like I have my grandmother's vinyl and that's all like just just orchestration mm -hmm. and it's like you know, and that's what I was seeing a lot of there and I was just like oh we can kind of skip this this is just yeah. you're, you're not gonna find what you want out of these yeah. um, but if I could find stuff that was from around that era you know I, there was a lot of stuff there was there was like disco era I'm like well that you could that mm -hmm. You might be able to find it within that that Neil. You know, there's stuff Neil Diamond, Barbara Streisand. Like those were the kinds of names that I was looking for because I knew that that would be mm -hmm. roughly around that time. So if it's if it's sort of together with that kind of stuff, yeah. you're most most likely to find that there versus classical music and versus yeah. anything that maybe like post disco era. You know, a little bit of the '80s. I guess that's it. Uh, we, uh, we 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 found a groove and uh, we hit it. So. Uh, See you next time.